My stuff's okay inside. I really, really do. I hope it's okay. Oops. What do you think that is? brought that crib to my mom's today and and I, and she wasn't around I knew she wasn't going to be around today she, she had um, things to do um, places to go whatnot but I planned to be there when she got there and I had to be there when she got there and I brought her my pan brought her my pan um, I told you that stove um, you the the back I was I had to leave last couple weeks ago and the um I left car I had cook with something cooking vegetables and it was on low 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 and I forgot I just, I you know I had to run around I have to make sure I catch the the but and the vegetables my mom called me later she was like the per panel burnt up I'm like it was on low 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 it goes on, how does this, how does an electric stove be on how is it on high when you have you put the thing on low 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 as low as you go it's only that one back burner so we got to avoid the back burner I had it on the back burner because I feel better dealing with with my mom you know I feel better having things even with me I feel better if I'm cooking something I have it on the back burner you know if I'm leaving it there it's okay at the front if I'm there and stirring it and whatnot you know so I today I um. I brought her that freaking crib, that crib that I bought from Walmart for like 40 bucks or something for her. And, um, I had to carry it. But I also brought her the pan with the cover. I gave her my, my pan, my good pan. I don't need it. I can get another one anyway. I want her to have a pan. And I want, if I go over there and cook, I want to be able to cook in that pan, see? So it's also another reason to give her the pan. Um, but... In the process, I'd gone there yesterday, as you know. If you watch my other videos, I went there yesterday. I've been going to my mom's all week long, every day. Today's Wednesday. I've been at my mom's apartment all week long, either doing stuff at her apartment, going with her to do things via public transportation outside the apartment, going to her apartment, doing things there, bringing things to her, bringing things back here. I told you I found all those thin socks of hers that I purchased for her that she said she has no socks. And to be proactive, I took away all the socks I know she's never going to wear. She's not going to wear them. She had the good socks mixed up with a bag full of socks she's never going to wear. If that's not the most annoying thing, okay? So I took them all. I took them all, okay? I took them all. Um, all week long, I've been doing stuff. Okay, less than the past three days. I need a break. I need to relax. Okay. I have to do it again tomorrow because I left her keys at home and I had to make sure I was there when she was going to be there because I would rather, you know, we wound up, I, I even said, I called the limit. I'm like, I don't want to inconvenience you. I'd rather my mom come home with me than inconvenience you. If, But if you're in the area, could you please come and let us into my mom's apartment? She left a message as well. I'm human. I make mistakes. You know, I'm not perfect. I was trying to get there and get that crib door and carry all this crap and I just totally forgot her keys. I thought they were in my purse. And they weren't. I'm assuming they're on this table. They have to be. I must have dumped something out of the bag. And unfortunately, the keys are not in my purse. They sure as fuck better be on this table. I'm so exhausted. I haven't even checked. And I hadn't watched my Inside Edition for two whole days. Or my World News Tonight for two whole days. So. And I need to take a shower and wash and dry my hair. With my new Hannah shampoo. I need to open that box, and I, I don't know what's on the outside of that box. I hope it's not a reflection of something exploding on the inside of the box. You know what I mean? Anyway. 
I won't have to age restrict this video. <laughs> more weird, interesting, I don't know, crap on Inside Edition that I'm going to do the little, because I, I ran out of room, I have to delete stuff and this stuff, I'm going to do the, um, actually not just interesting and weird, um, I will talk about this, but I'm also going to do the closed caption thing, not tonight probably. My back's hurting me a little bit. Yeah, because you're running, trying to catch the bus, over, going over a mile, and you, you, you've got to be careful. You're not a free chicken anymore. At my mom's, I was, um, I was antsy, waiting, waiting, the, we the, waiting for her, because like, she wasn't, I was up there early, and then she was going to be there. But no way I was going to have her arrive there, and I'm not there, and be waiting there by herself in the heat. No, because I could have gone back and got the key. They're going to have her wait. Fuck that shit. We can either, if the landlord can't come, you can come home with me. No big deal, Mom. I was glad it didn't happen that way. You know, I told you, the landlord does watch out for her. Oh, and I think he actually heard that message that I didn't want him to hear. Goddamn stupid cell phone. I assumed, wrongly of course, that... If I call up and I say I want to change my message and I record a new regular message that it's going to override the extended absence greeting even though I didn't say do you want to shut it off and I didn't say no. Well, I tried an experiment and it didn't work that way. It still played that extended absence greeting. So if he, if he did hear it, he didn't, he didn't mention it. Did he, and also, people, when I, you leave a long message, voicemail, people are, might be zoning out or whatever and just waiting for the beep and not even paying attention to what it says. Because it's a long thing and it's to my mom and he probably just zoned out until, or he knows but he's not going to, you know, he's not going to say anything. He's just going to keep it in the back of his mind. But the fact is, it's what I gave to you on, 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 the, on the video. I, I played it for you on, on a video. It's the truth. Everything I said is the fucking truth. You know? That's wrong. It's wrong that that fucking dryer is like that. I filmed the plug today. I just wanted to show you guys. And you probably say, well, we know what a dryer plug looks like. Yeah, well, I filmed the plug and I, I, I'm reiterating the fact I don't want my mom fucking around with that plug. And I also realized what's going on with the air conditioner because I, I thought maybe when I fiddled with it the other day, I'd move the knob on. It, 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 it plays on high, stays on high. You can't change it. You can't shut, you can't shut it off because I turned it down lower and it's still the same. So I can't comprehend why for the life of me, he would rather have that stay on and be paying all that extra electricity and air conditioning costs than to just re repair the damn thing. It makes no sense. It actually felt good in my own bedroom because we'd been out in the heat waiting for him to come and it was hot, but, you know, I wouldn't want that at night. No way. It's on high. It's stuck. It's not just stuck. It's stuck on fucking high. So she had a friend, as I said, um, plug it in for her, but nobody's unplugging it. And it, it, it doesn't... So my back's hurting me a little bit, but I'm not worried because it's happened before when I've carried heavy stuff. It'll go away. Well, hopefully, anyway. So much weird shit. I mean, I love that show Younger. And after all these years, the suit and foster character and, and the, the boss and the, with the, he, he knows now that she's not 20-something, that she's closer to his age. And, and they're finally going to sleep together. Apparently it was on last night and I taped it. Last week, when I watched it before, it said, the episode you've all been waiting for. And I said, come on.
happened to these boxes? They're covered with crap. It better not be that something exploded. If it's something that exploded, I am not going to be a happy camper, let me tell you. I'm going to open it and let you know if something exploded in it. That way it, it, it can be the same video instead of a different video. <laughs> oh my god. Hectic. Anyway, I'm always carrying shit, okay? A lot of times I'm carrying shit. I haven't actually this entire summer gone out without carrying nothing. You know, gone power walking. I haven't done it. I've been focusing. Oh, I have a bad feeling about that box. I don't see why that box would be like that. I have a bad, bad feeling about that box. I have a bad feeling about that box. I don't know why the box would be like that. I hope something didn't explode inside people. Anyway, I haven't done power walking this entire summer. Summer's going to be over. I haven't gone power walking. I still do a lot of walking, as we've already established. It's just not my power walking. And I'm always carrying something. Not always heavy stuff, but still. It's getting old. So today... I actually was out and waiting for the landlord to come. Just exercising, going back and forth in the parking lot, um, blasting my favorite tunes in my ears and enjoying myself immensely, you know? Because I wasn't carrying anything, because I, I, I put it down on, on the steps and, and, and waited for my mom to come, and then when she came, you know, she could sit there with the stuff, and I'm like, Mom, I'm not going to chat with you, I'm not going to whatever, I can't, I'm hot, it's hot out, I don't want to sit still, I just want to exercise until the landlord gets here and lets us in, okay? So, moment of truth, you guys ready? And I need to change this note, too. I need to order dog food from Chewy for Omar. I also need to get his eye drops. That I didn't get when we went to the eye place. Because they charge in a fortune and the, the doctor was cool and he's like, well, last time we have a place that makes it for us. Because I said, that's a lot more expensive. It only gives a tiny bit of money. It's like, well, we're supposed to do this, but I can get around it. Um, which he did. And I have to get it myself and have it sent and it's going to be cheaper. Um, but it's what he's had before, you know. It's just they were out of the stuff. You know, you know how that goes. They, there's a tiny little bottle and it's way more expensive, but that's what they have to use because it's, it's I don't know, something or other. Whereas this place makes its own and, and, and it's perfectly fine, you know. It's what they gave me before when they didn't have it. But um, I want this sign up. I took this one down. I'm going to make a more concise one, more, I don't know. This, attention all delivery people, if you're here to deliver a package for me, please ring my doorbell, especially if it's raining or snowing outside. I've been putting up with this avoidable crap for years and I'm done. Equals, from now on, if my package arrives wet, I will be returning the entire package regardless of whether or not the contents inside are damaged. I'm going to keep part of that, but I'm going to add in the plastic bag thing because, again, I realize I never even thought about that, but the last two times... Um, UPS when delivered something and the post office delivered something and all you're going to do is just tie the side of the bag to avoid what that asshole did that day. Throwing my stuff in the bag. It's pouring out and what do you think happened? I told you I was livid. Livid. It was from Amazon. I returned the entire fucking thing because the bag blew open and what's the point of putting put it in a bag? The, the box was soaked and it even soaked through and there's no excuse for that. It takes a second to tie the freaking bag. It's just common sense, okay? You tie the side of the bag and, the, and it's protected completely. But something might have happened to these two boxes. I'm going to find out if anything happened to these boxes. And I don't think I have any treats either because another box came earlier and that had the treats over the weekend and I shared the treats with my mom. I don't recall that I ordered any other treats. Which means the, 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 these boxes aren't going to have any treats. They're just going to have boring shit. It's the boring shit. It's just, you know, it's the stuff that I need, but I, it's nice to get the treats 
sheets and they all came in the same box, I would have rather than split up. I had to take off all day yesterday, so I asked the post office if they could please um, not deliver it till today, but it actually did arrive yesterday, I asked. I'd rather have it. I said I'd rather have it. I told him today. He rang the doorbell, by the way, and my note wasn't even up. But he might have read the note the other time, or he, um, they may have, you know, talked to one another about my note hanging on the door. Oh. Potato chips came. That's a treat. Do I have any sour cream? No. That's somewhat of a treat. Not like chocolate though. <laughs> like I said, my chocolate came. And the other box that came over the weekend. Anyway, I would have rather, I told them yesterday, I called early in the morning. And I said, can you, I don't know if it's time, but I have a feeling it's coming today. Can you please hold it? I'd rather it sit in your facility than sit on my hot, you know, the front steps all day long. And I was gone all day long to the night time. So. tolerate it, especially since it's open. When it's open, it means that's tea that's open. That part's open, you know. You've got to, you know, I, I told you I'm not going to put up with that shit. Satisfaction guarantee, you know? Period. No questions asked. Only to a certain mon monetary amount. I've never, I don't even think I've ever reached that monetary amount when I've returned stuff. Alright, well, I don't think anything exploded. I think it's just. I don't know. I guess it's just the boxes themselves, but, but we'll find out. Mama got your sardines, Omar! I get so many plastic bags because Vitacost wraps its shit really good, you know. It doesn't wrap any everything. I've repeatedly told them that they should wrap up those specific almond milk or bone broth, chicken broth, any of those because they crush very easily, but of course they don't listen to me. Avocado oil. Last avocado oil I bought. I think I think I had like a year. I don't use it all the time. That's a long time. 
right, well, that's being returned. You have something that crushed where it actually opened up and the tea inside is vulnerable. I ate keeping it. And for the record, even though I get to keep the stuff, so I'm basically getting it for free, I would much rather have everything arrive in pristine condition, okay? Because I don't like to have to return stuff. I don't ha like to have to complain. I do get it for free. I told you that before because they, up to a certain monetary amount, they used to have pe customers returning everything on their dime, sending the post, you know, postage paid or whatever, and they must have decided it wasn't worth it. They would rather just let you keep it. And they'll say you can keep it, discard it, you know, donate it or whatever. That's what happened with those beans from Amazon, the eight pack of, that was that was 30 something dollars. And I, I view that as my, you know, I got that for free. Obviously they weren't damaged, but I returned everything in that fucking box to teach them a lesson, and you damn straight, since I returned everything, they contacted UPS. So, you, the next time I got something from UPS, it was tied in the corner. The bag was tied in the corner, because it happened to be a storm out again. You know, that's just chance, but it was, and it was tied in the corner. Yeah, you learn, huh? You know, if, custom, if I return a whole thing and I filed a written complaint, I filed a written complaint on Amazon, I talked to them on the phone, and I filed a, you know, I, I called up you, you pass the whole nine yards, so you know that they're going to make sure that doesn't happen again, and it's so easily rectified. It's completely protected in the worst weather if you simply tie the corner of the plastic bag. This asshole just stuck my thing in a bag, and it totally blew open, and you already know that story, so... So there's somebody who, yeah, they're putting it in plastic like they're, they're supposed to do. Because remember, FedEx went so far as to not even put it in plastic. Blatant, rude, blatant disregard. And it turned out it wasn't even a friggin' FedEx employee. It was whatever you call it. When they get somebody, what, do they call them contractors? What do they call it when they work for a different company? But, you know, so, but, because that's what the boss told me. But then, all, then it was like years later or whatever, and the same guy, I was complaining again that the person didn't put it in plastic in it. And he's like, yeah, I'll talk to them again. And he confirmed on a message to me, like, because I had left an outgoing voicemail for him to hear. Because we ended up playing phone tag, and I never got to talk to him. But it was one, I, he remembered me, I remembered him, and he's like, yeah, that guy was fired, and I'll talk to this guy. He wasn't fired because of me. They didn't want him anyway. Oh. They, they, they had him because they, they, they were short-handed and he wasn't from FedEx, like he said. Whatever that's called, he was from a different company. But he's acting as a FedEx employee and he has to follow the rules and he did not like it when I complained, as you guys know, some of you. Perhaps. Yeah. Opened. I'm going to show you these because I'm not going to tolerate this. Okay? Tea is vulnerable, crushed, crushed and open. Look, a hole, holes. Look at that. Look at that. No, not tolerating it. Period. Not tolerating my items arriving damaged. Okay. I'm not going to tolerate it. You send me teas. That's the first time this happened too, by the way. My teas usually don't arrive crushed. And I don't believe it happens in transit. I believe they put them in that way. I've told them that before. And they're like, well, they're trained not to put them in that way. Yeah, uh huh? Well, all the other ones are fine. All the other ones are fine. And those two are crushed. That tells me they were put in that way. Right? Common sense, right? That's what I say. And that's what I'll say. All the other ones are fine. Two arrived totally mangled, crushed, damaged, which tells me that they were put in that way. I think they say to me on the phone, they're trained to not do it, but I still go back to the same thing. I think that these people in the warehouse was actually told to slip damaged goods in here or there because most customers won't complain. 
Yeah, well, you should learn by now not to do it to me. My account should be marked. You give me everything in good condition or I am going to complain and, and get my money back. These are super, super mangled. Ridiculously mangled. I know that it didn't happen in transit again because two were mangled out of so many teas that I bought. All these different teas, celestial seasoning and traditional medicines and... Did I get any celestial seasoning? Or should I get all the traditional medicines? Oh. Maybe I didn't get any celestial seasoning. Doesn't matter, tea bags are not protected. Know what I mean? You guys are not protected. They're not protected. I don't want my boxes crushed. I don't want there to be holes where the tea bags can become contaminated. Shoot me, you know? Shoot me all. I got this. This is going to freeze Stays fresh in your pantry for months. No, it does not go in the freezer. I bought this. Special occasion for me and my mama. I don't do bread. I don't do butter. Okay, so this will I, this will be special occasion for me and my mom. It says stays fresh in pantry for months. So I take you at your word. And it had huge, huge, great. I mean, it had great, great, great reviews online. Speaking of that, let's let's um segue into something else. Where'd the box go? Can we segue into something else important? To me. Important to me, to me, to me. I'm gonna put the tea away. I thought I should start drinking tea again. I ran out of all my teas. I was drinking tea. I ran out of it. Oh, I still have some back there. Mo I mostly ran out of it. shopping or didn't throw out any meat or didn't whatever. It's just beans, salsa, and cheese. And you put some, add, some, add in some sour cream and you're good to go. Alright, so I did have some tea left here. Not a lot, but I thought I had none, so. Anyway, let's segue into something else. I need to start drinking tea again. Mama! wants an exerciser called the Ab Doer. A B D O E R. You can look it up on Amazon. Okay. If you look it up on Amazon, you will notice that it doesn't have fantastic reviews. It has like three and a half stars. So it doesn't have four, doesn't have five, but it doesn't have horrible reviews. It has three and a half stars. Okay. Mama wants an exercise to call the ab door. She has every right to have that. It's her money, okay? That's not the problem. I would never say anything about something, but this is this is the problem. She wants this exercise to call the ab door. It costs around 200 bucks on Amazon, but it also costs um, like it costs a shitload to ship it. Because somebody was saying, yeah, it costs two, but then it costs like 70 something dollars to ship it, something like that, okay? So we're getting close to 300 right? So my mom will stress, well, it says you can try it out. That's a, they have a trial period. I'm just being, they have a trial period for $14.95 a month. I don't know how long the trial period is, but here's the clicker. I mean, here's the, the clincher. Here's, here's the thing. Um, trial period for $14.95 a month, but... If you return it, now remember, item, exercise, or an abdoer, 200 bucks. Everything looks great on TV, but we already know that, and we already know my mom 
and me too to a much lesser extent, but you can be very lured in to things on TV, okay? Many, many, many years ago when I was in my 20s, my mom was buying these friggin' exercises, every, anything she'd see on TV she would want, and they just sat around. Nobody, she never used them. It was a waste of money, okay? But they look, you know, everything looks great on TV. But I won't ever order anything from my mom until I look it up and see what it is, okay? Ab do or A B D O E R. We already know there's an untold, un just so many exercises out there, okay? But Amazon is cool because you can it people give there's there's reviews and they're legitimate and they, they have five star four star three two one and you can read them and a lot of people are very detailed in what they write. Okay. Um and just as an aside Again, three and a half stars. So there's going to be people who really like it, people who don't. There are people who say it doesn't really work all that well, but that's for someone more advanced. Obviously, my mom is novice, but there was also a warning that you have to be careful. Any of these exercises my mother thinks so wonderful, she has to realize her own limitations and that there's somebody who warned if you're this age or whatnot, be careful. You could hurt your spine if you, you know... My mom doesn't know how to use these things. She, they just look great on TV. I'm not trying to be overprotective, though. If she wants it, it's her money. We'll get it. All right? But I'm just saying, I have a right to, to be concerned. But she's hounding me and hounding me. And anyway, I just want to point out, it's not $15 a month. It's a trial period for $15 a month. If you don't like it within that trial period, you can ship it back at your own expense and you don't get the, that shipping back. You're just going to get that $200. You're not going to get shipping. So think about it. The item's $200, but I, somebody said, when I, didn't, I, I didn't look at the shipping, but someone in the comments and when they were review, in the reviews were saying it costs like 70 something to ship. So it probably cost you 70 something to ship it back too, but maybe not quite as much. But even so, you don't get that shipping back. So you pay $200 for the item. You don't get that shipping back. You have to pay to ship it back a, a significant amount, okay? If they're charging you 70 something it has to be a huge amount to ship it back, I would think. And on top of that, my mom has to pay somebody an untold amount to put it together. And if she didn't like it, she'd have to pay someone to take it apart again. Which winds up being between not getting your shipping back, paying to have to ship it, and paying, you've paid somebody to put it together, and you have to pay someone to take it back apart to ship it back. If you don't want it, it won't even be worth it, you might as well keep it. Okay, even if it sucks. You get it? So, to my mom, it's like, well, it's just $14.95 a month. Mom, it's $14.95 a month, but you might as well, it, you know, it's, it's the same damn thing. If you like it, you're still going to pay that same amount. And if you don't, you're losing on shipping. You have to pay to ship it back. And in your case, you have to pay someone to put it together. And if you don't want it, you have to pay someone to take it apart again. On top of that, all of that doesn't matter to me if, listen to me, well, none of that would matter to me if it was some wonderful thing. But at three and a half stars, it's not some wonderful thing. Things on Amazon, my stereo speakers that I love, that were way better than the Hewlett Packards I bought when I bought the computer system from Hewlett Packard in 2012, okay? These are kick-ass stereo stereos thing. I think they're, and they're, they're, um, they're kick-ass. And, um, they had, like, been close to five, they had thousands of reviews, and they had close to five stars. This exerciser has three and a half stars. I don't even know how many reviews it has. But I have a right to be concerned when we are dealing with my 72-year-old mother, okay? You know, I have a right to be concerned that she might not use the thing correctly and get hurt, and then I'm the one who bought it for her with her money, but still, I'm the one who bought it for her, but if she's going to help me and help me and help me, you know, so, but I still have a right to be concerned. She's not dropping it, though. She isn't dropping it, so, you know, as I usually do, I'm just a bitch out here. It's her money. Again, I'm not saying she shouldn't buy it because of the cost. I'm saying... And, and between you and me, she probably won't even wind up using it. But, again, it's more for me that I'm afraid. I just don't want her to hurt herself on it. That's all. That's all. You know, she doesn't spend much money. She wants the damn thing. But 
it, it, if she doesn't like it, she's just going to bitch up a storm, and in the end, yeah, we can return it, but you're still going to lose a lot of money in shipping and paying somebody to put it together, paying someone to take it apart. No, it's not as simple as, oh, it's $14.95 a month, Laura. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's just a trial thing, Mom, for however long. A couple, three months, maybe. I don't know. I don't know how long the trial thing goes. I didn't get that far. I only got as far as, oh, it only has three and a half stars. I don't think it's, it's uh, I don't know that it's as wonderful as mom thinks. So if you guys want to look it up and give me your opinion, feel free. But I didn't like reading where someone says you got to be careful because you can hurt your spine. You know what I mean? Basically probably cautioning somebody who's not. Remember, my mom doesn't exercise at all. She has that rebounder, but she, she, she barely uses that. I just think it's going to be just like any of the other exercises she ordered a long time ago where, you know, she'll pay someone to put them together, she'll, and she'll pay a lot of money for them, and she'll never fucking use it. No. She just, everything sounds good on TV. I never used that ab, what was that thing I got? But in my defense, my life fell completely apart and I didn't think I'd ever even have a mother anymore. So, you know, I was barely hanging on, hanging on that thread. Ugh. Crying my eyes out on videos all the time. So anyway, um... And that thing was only a hundred bucks. And no one had to put it together for me or anything. It was a hundred bucks, period. And I still think it's fantastic. And it had good reviews. And it's not going bad. You know what I mean? I can use it sometime in the future. It's, it's... So, I could also sell it if I wanted to. Sell it. I could use it in the future. It's fine. So this is the, my me buying that is not the same thing. It's a lot, hell of a lot cheaper. That thing, ab thing I bought. What was it called? I don't remember now. Do you not remember? I had tea and didn't know I had tea. That's all right. Tea lasts a long time. It should. Did they put expiration dates on it? I didn't order any, any of that Muir Glen pasta sauce. Like I ordered the one from Vitapus. I'd never ordered it before and I didn't like that it didn't have an expiration date on it. it tasted good, but... Yeah, September 2020. Yeah. Tea lasts a long time. Right, we don't want light bulbs in there. I can't waste time doing a video. I have shit I have to do, but I have videos to upload. And um, I'm doing this video while I'm putting stuff away, so that's okay. You know what I mean? That's okay. It's the only thing that's okay. Right. Hmm? I want to start having tea again. I was having tea. I used it all up. I just forgot that I bought some more last time, a few months ago. I don't know when I bought it, but that's okay. I bought all this crap. I had a 20% off my entire order. And actually, to get me back, I had that one for months ago. As, as you guys know, that 20% off um, as my reward for all the pain and suffering. I went through telling them that they had messed up, this, that, or whatever. Um, this is something new I'm trying. Organic Nighty Night Tea, but I always have used Nighty Night Tea, but this has valerian in it. Again, if all these boxes were perfectly fine and two were crushed to death, do you really think that happened in transit? I don't think so. I think they were put in my thing, and that's what I will say. I'll stick to my story. I think I'm right. 
actually I came home today and I was exercising at my mom's house waiting for the landlord. Last thing I wanted to do is be sitting there chit-chatting with my mom in the boiling hot heat. I would rather be exercising, blasting my music in my ear. You know, I don't like to sit still. We had to wait one time for a friggin' taxi. Um, and I did the same thing. I had my mom sit and I went back and forth exercising wherever I was, where I could walk back and forth safely and blast my music in my ear. They didn't want to just sit there. Plus, it was nighttime and I, I had to move so I wouldn't get beaten by bugs. Yeah, I'm trying some new tea. Traditional medicines, organic, nighty night tea with valerian. Something different. I've done, like I said, I've done the nighty night, but not with valerian. Try anything. I haven't tried my lavender oil yet. I said I had 20% off, and then they also sent me a thing with um, um, $30 off of 100 or more. So I, I did separate 100 and got $30 off of that, which was 33% off of that $100 part, and then the rest I got 20% off. Again, I stock up in food and I do huge vitamin orders, but the, it's not going anywhere, and it's. It takes months and months and months for it to all be gone, you know what I mean? So it all comes out of the wash. Stuff for Omar, too. Remember, we share Dole pineapple. I don't get organic pineapple, it's too fucking expensive. Um, we're getting pumpkins, not real expensive, but granite, granite pineapple is. Probably because even the regular pineapple, if it's not on sale, costs $1.69 a can. Omar and I share pineapple, and we, I don't like sardines, so he, he gets sardines. Okay. He, this, these are his. He gets a teeny little bit of sardines a day. Little tiny, you know, little, little speck. I have a lot of tea now. I need to start having it. Lip to tea. I don't know why I have it here. I'm not going to drink it. I'll bring it to mom's in case she wants to serve it to somebody. I don't know if she'll drink it herself. I don't know if this has an expiration date on it. I don't know how old it is. There are things in my mom's house you don't know. I didn't buy it. it could have been here 10 years for all we know. Maybe I should just toss it. No expiration date. I, maybe I should just toss it. She doesn't care about it. It could be really, really old. I think it is old. I'm going to toss it. My mom didn't buy this since I moved in, and time just goes by and by and by. I think this has been here for years. I'm going to throw it away. I think it would behoove me to throw that tea away. Not like it costs a million dollars. And you got my soap. I tried this soap out. I use it for my face and my body, and I like it. I tried it. When I tried it, I would just try one, but now I've got more because I know that I like it. See? See, see, see. Fiji Organic Tea Tree Spearmint Face and Body Coconut Oil Soap. Eczema and Psoriasis, psoriasis whatever, therapy. I like that soap. That didn't used to say that on it. I think they just, I don't, I think it should be the same soap, right? It didn't used to say eczema and sire th therapy formula, but I think they probably just added that on. Ingredients, it's cold pressed cream. Oh yeah, all it has is saponified cold pressed organic virgin coconut oil, organic tea tree, and spearmint. Yeah, no, they just added that, so, you know, to try to probably promote that it's good for if you have that skin condition or something, which I thankfully do not. Either one and never have. Told you in my teenage years and into my 20s and, early, you know, um, it got better, but I had severe acne, but not as severe as some poor souls have. I certainly didn't have huge, huge, giant postules, but um, I 
some people get the real, real, real severe shit. It was severe enough. <laughs> it wasn't just, you know, severe enough. Uh-oh, I wasn't supposed to put that away. You weren't supposed to put that away, knucklehead. I wasn't supposed to put these away. I can't put them away until I figure out, make sure they all arrived. That was dumb. I'm exhausted. I'm spending every day with my mom.
got that Simple Truth Organic Orange Miso Dressing that I love. Got a couple of those. I tried those and loved them. Hence the reason that I purchased them again. they refunded. God gave me back that 20% off that I had to do manually because remember it's my own special thing and they didn't give me code for it. They just told me they would refund me. I have an email saying they refund me. So I'm going to check. I just realized that because that says the original amount. It doesn't say Charged with one murder and he found his women via dating apps. Nice, huh? Um, but we hear about that every once in a while. You take your chances with anything. I told you that story about that mom with three kids and the first time he went out with her he didn't hurt her. The next time her body was found in a dumpster somewhere local, you know, right near where she lived. And then they traced it back and found out that he had a rap sheet a mile long. I don't know if he ever was convicted or I don't, I didn't get that far with it. It was one of those things I just saw in one of the newest things. But this one is being charged, you know, he's being prosecuted for one murder, but he, there may be seven more. That's another thing that I'll um, probably, because I'm going by memory here, even though I just watched it, I'm still going by memory. I'll probably do Kelly's captions and read it to you. Of course, that's going to hit home because it's via dating apps. He said via, um, they said he met the, his victims, this predator met his victims via uh, Tinder and Plenty of Fish. And he said, they, so Inside Edition is giving some tips on how to stay safe, and one of the things they say is potential people, which I've been, I've been taking Florida in different personal ads, as you guys know, over the years, even in other states and whatnot, and I've never done this, but you should get the person's last name so that you can, you know, do a background check on, check on them. That's one of the recommended tips that was featured in Inside Edition by an expert. 
And again, it's mostly females in danger, and that's just, you know, Gavin DeBecker from the Gift of Fear point, it's mostly females that are in danger. It's not that men can never be in danger, but it is mostly females. And Gavin De DeBecker stressed that up the yin-yang when he, te you know, the whole, that whole thing with, with men fear women will laugh at them while women fear men will kill them. A comic speech said that one time. He said, I feel bad for women, you know, they have to see if they have to go out on a date and women worry about being killed. And then you try not to live in fear. You try to, you know, reassure yourself that it's, you know, very not likely anything will happen and then look what foot guy did to me he didn't hurt me but he at that moment when he was saying that i thought oh my god this is it all your fears are about to materialize laura you know this is why people do live in fear not fun don't think it didn't permanently affect me either. It did. Obviously, he didn't hurt me, so to him it was just a joke or whatever, but it's not funny. You don't joke about something like that, particularly when you're not best but You know what I mean? Like, I watched that stupid movie. What the hell was the movie? with Leslie Mann and someone else, whatever. But they were husband and wife, and they were joking about the grisly ways they would kill each other. It was all meant to be a joke, okay? Friends might joke about shit like that, but you don't joke about that with a practical stranger. Someone who's practically a stranger to you. And I'd only met the book guy on two other occasions, so, you know, we weren't best buddies. I did not like being out of my grass. It's organic olive oil, let me tell you. Didn't like that. This they make sure they protect really good. They put it in this nice box and they put it a bag. I get all these bags. I don't use I don't use them for food. I don't treat them like a Ziploc bag. I, I use them for but I use them for other shit. I use them put all my receipts in and separate my receipts and things like that, but I don't use those bags for food. I would, I would use them as long as if the food was sealed up and I was just putting them in the bag, but I wouldn't put, you know, regular food like it wouldn't in this like bag, like say some nuts or something. I wouldn't do that, no. With these Vitacost bags, definitely not. But non-food items, sure. You can always use more plastic bags. They exist anyway, so I might as well use them. They exist regardless of even if I threw them away, so I might as well get used out of them, right?
See, this is sealed. As far as I'm concerned, I know it's not the case, but all things that are open like this should be sealed, but they're not. There are things that do not have inner seals. I bought something before at the store that I hadn't purchased before, and it just had a thing that twisted off a and, and not sealed on the inside, which means in the store somebody diabolical, whatever, could, could contaminate that item quickly without anybody realizing what they were doing, you know. Speaking of that, not realizing what they were doing, that was on Inside Edition 2 in Texas. Shark nabbing. And they got caught, and it's so stupid. It's like, this is what they did. They stole a shark from one of those shark things where, you know, the shark won't hurt you. It's a pointy shark, whatever it's called. Um, her name was Miss Helen or something or other, and they were glad to get her back, but they got the shark. It's one of those where you can reach in and pet them or whatever, and they had their, their shark, it's like that big. Picked it up, and I guess no one sees, brings it to the bath, puts it in a bag, because it's all caught on a surveillance camera, I guess. And then it's the shark's in the bag, puts it in a baby carriage, and wheels it out to the car, all caught on surveillance camera, and then posts, I guess, on um, Facebook or something, whatever kind of shark it is, $300. So they did all of this to just to try to sell this shark for a measly. It was $300. It was all caught on surveillance camera. And someone sees a Facebook post, of course, and they track the light. They, they, they're caught. They're caught. I don't. I've said this to you repeatedly. I just don't get it. I don't get people. You steal a friggin' shark from a tank in a an aquarium or whatever in Texas. You know, one of those, just like we have the Boston Aquarium here. You know what I mean? They steal the shark, and it's one of those you could just reach in and they take it out. Because the Inside Edition woman was like, I've heard, it wasn't, it doesn't Devon Nora, it was Diane, I think, McElroy in for Devon Nora. But I've heard, you know, we've heard of a lot of things, but shark nabbing, I mean. And then they're going to sell it for $300. And they put in the thing. We took it out briefly from the tank just to take the picture of it. No, you stole it, motherfuckers. And everyone in the aquarium. Oh, the person from the aquarium, one of the people, they, the police said, can you identify this shark? And she's like, I sure can. And she was able to identify her. And she's like, you're going to see it's a female. They, it was, they, they love the shark. Her name was Miss Helen or something. Or, and they got her back. Now these people are going to be prosecuted. There were three. They, they listed one who's been charged already with theft and whatnot, but, I mean, you're going to steal a shark and then post that it's for sale on faith, I mean, and, and all for, to get $300 possibly, 300 bucks, people. I'll tell Joe that story and he'll be like, yeah, I told you, Laura. The dumbing down of society. People are just getting more and more just, you know, steal a friggin' shark. When you're, you're on surveillance camera, they even have surveillance cameras showing them going out to their truck. So apparently they got the license plate of the truck or something on the surveillance and they tracked them down. Plus, they put the shark up for sale on Facebook. <laughs> Or wherever they, I don't know, Facebook puts stuff on sale. Again, that's one of those things I can do closed caption and read it to you because it's hysterical to me. Whatever it was, can you sell stuff on Facebook? If it, if you, I think it was, they put it up for sale on Facebook. It might have been something else. Maybe it was up for sale on eBay. I don't know. The fact is, they got caught. And they were doing it all to, to possibly sell the shark for a measly, I mean, $300. I mean, it just... I just don't get it. I just don't get it, babies. Chalk that up to yet another thing I don't get in this life. Why <laughs> well, you're going to do something like that? Risk all of that and, and just to possibly get $300. I mean, there's no guarantee you're going to sell a fucking shark, you know? Maybe they did.
did it just to see if they could get away with it. You never know, right? You don't know about people. Maybe they did it just to, just to be, you know, because you never heard of that before. It's maybe never happened before someone's stealing a shark, so. They'll go down in history, they'll go to jail, the three of them, but they'll go down in history as getting away with stealing a shark out of an aquarium tank. I mean, come on. <laughs> Happened in Texas. Happened in Texas, babies. Oh, I was noticing today, you know, I've shaved the bottom of my legs a little bit, and um, there's not really hair anywhere on the tops, but up towards my nether regions, which I do not shave, I, the, the, I told you I get the Brazilians proudly, and I don't have any reason if I'm not intimate with anybody and don't wear a bathing suit. Um, once you've started getting Brazilians, you shouldn't shave, you know. But there is hair, like, at the tops of my thighs, so that's not... She does uh, I think I'm going to uh, shave that. Because it's darker, and I was noticing it on the bus when I wear my shorter, sh short shorts, you know. And I didn't like it, Because so. you can actually see it. stuff all over this box too, not as bad, but I don't think it's, I think it's, I don't know what happened, but I don't think it's anything that's really thrown. It's just a great thing. It happens, but not to, uh, nothing leaked or whatnot. So anyway. My organic Woodstock almonds and walnuts. My mom eats them too. She eats them over here. I make special things with them. You know, I'll put them in pineapple, put them in whatever, and way cheaper to get them off of Vitaclass than in the supermarket. Trust me on that one. Way cheaper when I get my nice little discount. Way cheaper even if I don't get the discount, but definitely way cheaper when I do. I don't buy anything without getting the discount, so the points move. I won't get anything from Vitaclass unless I get some sort of discount. But this was a 20% off, which is fantastic. That's like, can't beat that. And that was something special they just offered to me, you know, to get me back to them. And then they messed it up a couple, three months, whatever it was. And, and to make it up to me, they told me, because the code wasn't working right, and they, they wasn't giving me it off more than, they, it was supposed to be up to $1,000 and it wasn't doing it, so they said I could order again at any time, and they would honor 20% off of up to 1000 Of course, I didn't spend that much, but the last time it wouldn't let me go up to 500 and it wasn't supposed to do that because it didn't indicate that in the email. And I had to go back and forth and my time is worth something too and it was so aggravating. But in the end, I got what I wanted was, you know... Actually, I didn't expect to get anything going to the truth. I just wanted to bitch up a storm that they sh it was misleading and whatnot. But in the end, they, they let me... I thought they would say... Like, whatever, I bought that last time for 20% off. You can buy up to 1000 you know, over that amount. But no, they started over and said I could do a new order at some point. And they didn't give me an expiration date and use it all over again. And this time I could do it up to 1000 Last time it was stopping at 500 and it's not supposed to because it wasn't indicated in the email. That's false